After six days on the Emerald Isle, we took an early morning flight from Belfast to Glasgow. We couldn't wait to explore Scotland. It's already been a long day, it feels like. <laughs> versus Belfast. Way prettier. The buildings are really charming. It's much older feeling. Yeah. Both here in Edinburgh, there is a bin workers strike. The trash is piled up everywhere because one of the governments doesn't want to pay the bin workers. So far, Glasgow seems much prettier than Belfast was. There's definitely trash around because of the bin workers strike, but Belfast had that and they didn't have a strike, so. While we wait to check into our hotel, we are gonna spend some time at Black Sheep Coffee. Our first hotel of our trip so far. Looking forward to having our own space. We relaxed for a while in the hotel room and we feel much more awake and alive. Yeah, we were able to take a shower and take a little nap and we feel like so much better than this morning. And now we're heading to grab some falafel at an all vegan falafel place right around the corner. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have a night in at the hotel and sort of like decompress. Yeah, we've been due like a relaxing day for sure. So despite our best efforts, the falafel place was closed. So luckily the McDonald's here have a bunch of vegan options. So we hit it up and the whole place is like kind of automated. So you order at the machines and then it gives you a number and you pick it up the counter here. And the funny thing here too is like you have to pay extra for the bag to carry your food in. So it's like 10 cents um, extra for that, which is wild. So we ended up getting a Scottish lager and an English cider to go along with our vegan McDonald's. This is the spicy veggie one. It's like a wrap with some vegan chicken nuggets or something. Four little vegan chicken tenders. And the one that we're really excited to try, the McPlant, which is just a cheeseburger, I guess. It's all right. I think it's beyond meat. So the so first thing up is this vegan chicken tender thing, which apparently is not like a chicken tender at all. It's like vegetables in here fried up. To be fair, it does say four veggie dippers. Like, yeah. That's what they're called. What do you think of the McPlant? It does have like a distinct McDonald's taste for sure but like not like I remember it. Yeah. I think it might be the bread or something. It's like the issue with all of these vegan burgers, they undercook them. Yeah. Like they're not like fried, they're like, yeah. it's like they're steamed. They microwave them or something. Yeah. I'm gonna go in order of worst to best of the McDonald's options here. The worst were the veggie dippers. The breading was good, but the they just, they were like hash browns with less texture. Second was veggie dipper wrap thing. It was spicy, it tasted better than those did by themselves, but they were basically put in a wrap of lettuce and some spicy sauce. The best of them all was the McPlant, which was still just pretty middle of the road. It was awesome to have the options though, right? Yeah. Like, it's so cool to be able to just, you know, other things were closed, we didn't have any other choices really it, for something that we could grab quickly. It was so cool to be able to today go to McDonald's and the other day go to Burger King. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, it's just fun to have that option. Like, we don't have that in the States, so it's, it's cool to like, participate in it. Cheers to a relaxing night in. Cheers. So we were able to get all of this food from our hotel breakfast uh -huh. options. It's pretty amazing. Again, like we could never get anything like this in an American hotel. This is just like a travel lodge. It's not like a specialty one or anything. Plate number two. Coffee cat. We left our hotel with a list of things to see and a buzz of excitement. While we were grateful to have taken the day before to recharge, we now had to squeeze the highlights of Scotland's biggest city down into just one day. We just noticed how quiet it is here. You can hear all the birds and we're in the middle of the city. We crossed old streets, walked along beautiful architecture, and explored lush urban parks on our way to our first stop of the day, 
Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum. It's a murder. Every time I put my phone away to save battery, there's something more beautiful around the corner. supposed to be a Dali painting here and I've never seen one in person and it's away on them. Um Calvin Grove Museum sent the Glasgow Botanic Gardens. The grounds were immaculate, and we took time exploring the garden rows, spotting familiar vegetables and flowers. Nineteenth-century glass and steel greenhouses house thousands of plants of unimaginable variety. It's amazing to see even a small sliver of the Earth's incredible biodiversity all gathered in one place. As we walked along the streets of Glasgow, between old buildings, over gentle rivers, and past groups of school children in uniforms straight out of Hogwarts, we had an overwhelming feeling of change. Our time in Ireland had been so special to us and had already left a lifelong impression. <laughs> but now after just two days in Scotland, we were already making more of those once in a lifetime kinds of memories. These places seemed so special, it was hard to imagine ourselves back in the land of parking lots and Dollar Generals. With each step, we were feeling more and more distant from those two people who had left North America for the first time less than a week ago. 
Sometimes, when you're feeling a little too much, it's best to slow things down and have a pot of tea. So that's exactly where we headed next. We had the most amazing experience for our first afternoon tea. To think we just stumbled upon such a charming shop with so many vegan options. It was just one more signpost letting us know we were somewhere special. Racing against dusk, we zigzagged across the city center seeing one historical landmark after another. We were having the time of our lives in Glasgow. I wrote, now that we've had this high, how could we go back? Are we supposed to pretend that this world isn't out there? It's like the world just got so much bigger and everything else got so much smaller. So we're at an all vegan bar called Flying Duck and I'm about to have my first ever white Russian at a bar. We didn't even have to ask for a vegan white Russian, everything's vegan here so if you order a white Russian that's what you get, it's a vegan white Russian. So this is chai spiced. It smells fantastic, it looks like a milkshake at like first glance. <laughs> oh yeah, it's really is good. Is it good? Yeah, it's like cereal milk. Oh man. It's so good. Damn, Bob, we're spinning loose. We've had the greatest time in Glasgow. It has become our favorite city so far on this trip. I mean, everywhere you turn, like, it's like, wow, 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 wow. Yeah. I mean, we're such tourists here, but it's <laughs> just so beautiful. So today we are um, about to hop a train to make our way over to Edinburgh, which is just east of here. It should be a nice short train ride, and we're really looking forward to seeing that city. But before we left, we had a couple of beautiful sights still to see the Glasgow Cathedral, and the Necropolis. We rushed to the train station, boarded with only a minute to spare, and set off for Edinburgh. <laughs> 